Good afternoon folks, 21st Century Caveman here. I hope everybody's well, I hope everybody's happy. So I'm going to be skimming the ceiling in the kitchen today. I've already covered up the light fitting. I've just dropped it as far as it will go from the ceiling look. Covered it in cling film which should protect it from any plaster, water, that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to do now is to just go over and remove any bits of plaster which might be sticking out, any little blobs odds and sods that sort of thing you can see that i've already set the skin bead i did this um, a couple of days ago i've set it in bonding because i didn't have any multi finish at that time it's not a problem though um, so just need to scrape it back because it is a rougher plaster than multi finish which i'm going to use to skim um, the the, uh, the, um, the ceiling so anyway just going to spend um, a few minutes scrape everything back and then basically just put a couple of coats of uh, PVA on the ceiling and when it starts to go off I'm going to put the first coat of plaster on. Anyway I'll reset the camera and I'll get back to you. So I've mixed up some PVA, which is roughly the consistency of milk. I'm just going to apply that using uh, this long brush here. Right folks, so this is the stuff I'm using to skin the ceiling with. This is a multi-finish. It's actually in a different bag now since I used it last time. Right folks, okay, so I'm going to start in this corner here and bring it across. I would stress before I start that I'm a DIY plasterer, I'm not trying to make any representations about being an expert or anything like that because I'm not. Anyway, I'm working from the bucket. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Right guys, so I've put the first coat on. Now, it is actually going off a lot quicker than I thought it would. So very quickly, I'm actually gonna go around and start bedding in the scrim tape before it becomes too difficult. I should have done that. I've no perhaps at the start of the process. And then I'm gonna flatten out the uh, first coat. Okay, back in a moment. Right folks, so I've put scrim tape on all of the corners around the ceiling. Now I just need to bed it in now and flatten out the ceiling. Folks, so we'll go then, second coat. <laughs> Because this is a much runnier, much wetter mix, there's a very good chance I'm going to drop a hell of a lot of it. If I'm going to turn the cap off to keep it in the ceiling.
where I'm just going to start taking out these corners because it's starting to harden over here. Right folks, so um, I've got the second coat of skim on and uh, the plaster's starting to go off now. Um, yeah, it's firming up quite nicely and it's making me feel a little bit anxious to be honest with you but I think I'm going to try and um, sponge float here. It's something which um, gas from Plastering Force uh, 007, whatever he calls himself, <laughs> something like that. He's actually done and got the idea from him. And I think a lot of people, even those who are in the profession, are starting to sponge flow now. Like I say, I'm actually feeling quite anxious about it because I've never done it before, but I've either got to do it or just get on with it because that plaster's is starting to go off now. And from what I can remember, it's at about the same, at about the time I need to start thinking about sponge floating this. So, like I say, I feel a little bit edgy about it, but sod it, let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Worst comes to worst. If I screw it up, I'll have to come back and skim it again. Right, first thing I'm going to do then is put a light haze of water on the plaster. So I'm going to get the sponge and uh, stick it in a bucket of water and start um, dragging it through the uh, through the plaster. It's one of these lot refiner. You can see it. Boom. And it's a medium course as recommended by Gaz. Right, wish me luck. Right, okay folks, look, I've gone over the sealing uh, with the refiner sponge flow. Uh, we've got, you know, it's put lots and lots of uh, um, little tracks, ridges in the ceiling, which is what we want. Um, the ceiling at the moment is, as you can see, a little bit wet, obviously, because I've sprayed it with water and um, basically sort of almost bring the plaster back really to its uh, original form but it is got very, has got a very creamy consistency at the moment. So I'm just going to let this dry out a little bit and then I'm actually going to start plastering up um, with one of my new trowels, which is the Superflex, Arifina Superflex. Right folks, this is my new trowel. Um, it's Arifina Superflex 2. So this is a much larger trowel than my Marshalltown 13 inch. I think this is 16 inch actually. Uh, yeah, so this is a 16 inch stainless steel trowel. Now I haven't, it's supposed to be broken in, but whether or not it will give me the finish that I'm expecting, I don't know. It may be the case that I have to use it quite a bit before it does. But anyway, look, I mean, um, you know, this is a beautiful trowel and um, I've been really looking forward to giving this a whirl actually. Um, and also in conjunction with the sponge floating. So anyway, that's a trowel I'll be using and it'll be quite interesting just to see how we go on with it. This really does feel very nice to use actually. The handle is very the handle is very comfortable. It's definitely got a bit of a uh, well, the edge is a bit square though. Definitely needs a bit of wearing in.
Okay folks, so the uh, ceiling is now done after a fashion. I'm not ever so happy with it to be honest with you. Um, I struggle to because I don't do this that often. I th always, you know, felt that I was up against the clock and the plaster was going off before I could actually get to it. Anyway, I tried to rejuvenate some of it just by flicking some water on it, wet trowel, that sort of stuff. Anyway, look, I don't know how easy you can actually see what I've done. Um, so this is what um, this is what it looks like at the moment, and it would have been nice actually to um, I don't know be able to spend a bit more time on it really, but there we go. So I know this isn't perfect. This certainly won't be, you know, the best plastering job I've ever done. Um, I think a couple of things um, from a learning perspective. Um, you know, I need to uh, get the time, I need to speed up basically. That's something which is going to come with practice. The more plastering I do, because as I say, I haven't done it for quite some time. Um, I think the sponge floating certainly helped me out, and I think it gave me more time. Um, I think the Superflex too, um, I think I need to um, attack it with some fine grade sandpaper or something just to get a better edge on it. And also it's become clear to me that unlike the Marshall Town, the stainless steel one, you know, if you need to put a bit more pressure, you're not going to do it because clearly it's a finishing trowel. Whereas with the Marshall Town, you can sort of like, uh, you know, put a lot more pressure on stuff. Um, but anyway, look, um, uh, you know, and the, the relevance of that is if the plaster starts to go off, then, you know, sometimes if you give it a little bit of welly, you know, it helps. But you can't do that with a Superflex, obviously. And as I say, reason being that, um, you know, it's a finishing trial, isn't it? Anyway, so look, I mean, that's what we've got so far. As I say, I mean, um, you know, it's, it's you know, getting dark outside now. Right? Well, it is dark. So I need to sort of like pack up my mess and uh, sort of get home, have some tea, have a beer. And um, thank you very much indeed for watching.